Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another do-it-yourself video. Today we are working on a Mercedes GL350. This is a 2012 last year in this body style. But this procedure should work on multiple Mercedes. We are doing this job because, as you guys can see, the rear airbags have failed. The compressor works when the vehicle runs, it does raise up, and if you drive it throughout the day, it's totally fine. But overnight, this is what happens. And this Mercedes is sagging on both sides. If you guys can tell right here, the gap is extremely minimal. I can't even get two fingers in. Um, but the job, pretty straightforward. And again, if your compressor is working as it should, you most likely have a leaking airbag. We're doing the rear today, and the rear airbags are not very expensive. Here's what one looks like. And it's basically disconnect that air hose right there and then twist it, it should drop and there should be a few more bolts at the bottom. But we'll show you guys once we pull everything up and apart. Tire has been removed and here's our airbag. Little loosey loosey, but it's definitely deflated. I should not be able to squeeze it this much. So there's not a lot of space in here guys. So unfortunately it'll be very difficult to show you. But basically, what I'm gonna do is reach my hand up back here and I feel with my fingers the little nut that holds the air hose. Let me see if I could... So this is the air hose right here that I'm touching. Oh, it's focusing on the wrong thing, but you guys get that idea. Well, Andre said, let me get in there, let me try. And <laughs> now it looks like he's doing the whole thing. So the nut is there, it's a 10 millimeter. Um, not a lot of room if you guys can see he is positioned very awkwardly and a bit very uncomfortably But the goal is to get that airline out. So essentially the airbag is sitting like this and here's what we're going after This is I believe the 10 millimeter nut He is unscrewing right now that will release some pressure on here and you'll be able to take out the air hose And then we'll go from there all right, well, we got the hose out that we, Andre, did. Now, as you guys can see, it could just push down and it deflates even more. Next, we'll have to remove this lowering link or sensor. I'm not sure which one it is, uh, but the point of that is to clear the airbag and get it removed through this hole right here because it won't fit anywhere else and that's the easiest way. We'll also need a 10 millimeter to get that removed and then we'll try to squeeze the airbag through there. So we're using a 10 millimeter to take off the nut and then holding the inner piece with an eight millimeter wrench. And there we have it. Now we wanna remove the whole assembly because the airbag did not fit through when we tried and that's uh, held by a 10 millimeter bolt. So once that comes out, that should give us enough clearance to get this airbag out of there. With that whole assembly out, the airbag should slide through. There we go, beautiful. There's the old one. And with stuff kind of out of the way, I just wanna show you guys. So we took off the connection point right here, which was a 10 millimeter nut. And then in the center, it was an eight millimeter, which we used to kind of keep it in place. And then 10 millimeter bolt right here to take off this whole arm assembly and that was enough to get the airbag out now to install it you just do pretty much opposite what you did squeeze the airbag put it back in and then connect that little a arm and then you could connect the air hose and then tighten everything basically you are reversing what you just did we're gonna do that now and then I'll show you guys the finished product a few minutes later we go we are done here is the new bag it is completely decompressed but everything has been tightened down airline has been connected so now we're gonna put the tire on um, and we'll probably start the car make sure everything is working as expected and then we'll do the other side there we have it guys it is definitely starting to raise up not a very difficult job we're gonna kill the car so it doesn't raise it fully because we're gonna be doing the other side anyways and just let the compressor do both sides once we're fully done 
Uh, but that's how you replace an airbag suspension component. Courtesy of this dude. I was just looking at the nice face. <laughs> uh, courtesy of this guy he did most of the work uh, but it's not a very difficult job just a little bit difficult to get to it it's not requiring a lot of tools and two new airbags were like 66 bucks hope you guys found this video helpful thank you for watching consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in another video